Dodge Mazda RX-7 with its 900... <laughs> At 370 kilometers an hour, just 18 kilometers per hour short of breaking the record, Jim increases the oxygen mix in the fuel, which adds at least 50 more horsepower to the engine. The extra power causes him to lose control. The rush of air flowing underneath the car sends it airborne. Jim tries to deploy his emergency parachute, but it's too little, too late. When the vehicle finally comes to a standstill, flames erupt in front of the windshield. Jim frees himself from the harness and roll cage. And hits a button that releases carbon dioxide to extinguish the flames. Despite his horrific crash, Jim walks away without a scratch. The car is damaged, but still salvageable. Three years after this crash, Jim finally broke the speed record by hitting 389 kilometers per hour. He has yet to reach his goal of 483. At the El Toro Marine Base Air Show in Southern California, several hundred thousand spectators are here for three days of aerial thrills. One of the attractions is this supersonic F-18 Hornet fighter jet, piloted by U.S. Marine Colonel Jerry Caddick. Caddick is one of the most experienced fighter pilots in the Marines. Early in his career, he earns the call sign Kamikaze after he twice lands jets with failed engines. Many are here just to see the highly decorated pilot perform a difficult and rarely seen man. Caddick successfully completes the stunt twice during the three-day event, but on his third and final attempt, something goes wrong. Caddick is supposed to fly a series of 90 degree angles, then level out to complete a square. This split screen shows the view from the ground and from the cockpit. Caddick heads straight for the ground at 480 kilometers per hour. Investigators believe Caddick became disorientated as he sped up to complete the square. Once he realizes he's too close to the ground, it's too late. The aircraft slams into the tarmac. Emergency crews rushed the pilot to hospital, but the prognosis wasn't good. Caddick had suffered a fractured neck, 
a compressed spinal cord and a collapsed lung. He spent five months in hospital, but the man nicknamed Kamikaze survived one of the hardest crash landings in air show history.